up YouTube so as you can see here I made a little bit of a change I went ahead and installed the XL version why not right it definitely looks a hell of a lot better with that front face on there so what I plan to do now is to plug the special USB cable in that I got and log into it and see what kind of settings I can change and the first one I want to get rid of is that horrible beep let's do it alright so you can't look at any of my mess on this side or any on this side okay, okay. <laughs> kind of a tight fit over here. Don't look back there either or over here. Just look right here. I did have to do one quick modification. The Anderson plug that was in here before was a bigger plug and I didn't have anything to match it so I pulled the one out of the front and zip tied all the wires in place on the inside and then put in a blue Anderson connector right here so I can use this back port. So now I don't have to have any wires coming out of the front. I will end up doing something to cover up these fuses because they're a little exposed right now so uh, don't worry about that right now. So all I do is put the magic USB port in there. I will say that this XL version, um, since there is three fans and one of those fans is a 120 millimeter, it does make a lot more noise. So just kind of bear with me on that. But I'll go ahead and turn it on here. Hey, I know that sound. That beeping has got to go. Right meow. Can I sit with you? No? Well, too bad. Come here. Ugh. Okay, I am going to be using the Power Shoot Business Edition because I could not get the Personal Edition to work. I could not get Nut to work. I could not really get anything to work right now except for the PowerShoot Business Edition. I don't know if it's this computer or, or not because I tried it on three different computers and the Business Edition is the only one I could get working. Okie dokie. Gotta log in Average Joe there. So we are using the Smart UPS 3000 RM XL and I don't know how accurate all of this is gonna be here. If I could figure out how to change a lot of this, that would be awesome. But yeah, I don't know. It says we have 313 minutes left, which I highly doubt. If we did, I think I would have a problem. Okay, that's kind of cool. Gives you your VAC, 60 hertz, energy usage. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. Configuration, what's that? What's this? Can I change the name? Better change that. Oh, I can't, I can't fit it in there. Oh, okay, that'll work. Power rack. Oh, uh, let's go with... August of 2017, audio alarm, never apply, bitches. Hopefully that took. Um, run time calibration unknown. Oh, I guess that would give me my battery percentage. I'm not really sure what self-test will do. Will it drain the batteries all the way down? I don't have any way to charge them yet. I'm not ready. I don't have my solar panels hooked up yet. See, if I could change some of this battery voltage stuff, that would be nice. You know what? I'm going to go put a 100 watt light bulb on there and I'm going to see what happens. Okay, well, we have a 3.9% load. See, I want to figure out how to change these settings. 
Is that right? 56.4? I'll go check it with the voltmeter. I have 56.7 over here. That's on the fuses. Okay, well, it's a little off on the voltage on here, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I just mainly wanted to turn off the beep. Okay, so yeah, this uh, works. I might be able to change some settings in here. I might not. I'll have to play around and see what I come up with. Okie dokie. So yeah, it's working. All right, so I am going to do, it's not really a load test. It's really only going to be like a runtime test. I'm going to let this run all night how it is. I'm going to use this watt meter. I'm going to plug in that 100 watt light bulb and just let it run all night. I just basically want to make sure that this is going to stay on all the time. I think this will do like a kilowatt hour type thing when it's all done. I'll try to do at least 12 hours. Maybe I'll let it go for 24. I have no idea. We'll see what happens, but I'll do uh, the voltage as it is right now and then I'll do the voltage whenever I'm done. This green extension cord right here comes out of like the exhaust hole that's on top of the server rack. I did that just so I could close the other side, the other door, just so no cats get in there and mess around. And then I'll close this side up, hook up the light bulb and let it go. Battery voltage is 56.7. Okay, the time is 3.18 a.m. Hey, right, meow. Alrighty, that's all I have today, so what do you guys think? I mean, I still have a little tweaks to do to it, but it all seems to be working. Not really sure what's up with the other uh, UPS programs or whatever. I can't get any of them to work except for the Parachute Business Edition, but whatever i'm sure i'll figure something out but it's working it's working okie doke so i will let you guys know how the runtime test goes and we'll see you on the next one see i told you i would wear the shit out of this shirt i wear it in like every video now i'm gonna need a new one uh um and uh and um this smart ape come here come here Let's try to get into this UPS. You want to? What, did my computer shut down? It did. My computer shut down. Huh. Okay. We'll just wait for it to boot back up. Let's see what time it is. Ooh, 2.58 a.m. The, um, um, so now I just need to hook up the, ugh. Yeah, I wonder if I, I don't know. I don't want the computer shut down. I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use this watt meter. I'm gonna plug. I'm gonna use this watt meter and see um, what I'll do. I think I got a hair in my mouth. To um, I just plugged. Ah, I got it. This green extension cord. Um, I got another one. And throw the ready. So yeah. Ah.